What is up guys? I'm going to show you how to migrate from Android to iOS using the move to iOS app on Android. So when you first go through uh, the setup, you're going to be asked to download the move to iOS app onto your Android phone. I've already done that. You can get it from Google play and Apple actually provide you with the link to get this. So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna go through the setup process, basic setup here. I'm gonna use a cellular connection because I don't feel like putting my Wi-Fi password in. All right, so in just a second, it's gonna allow me to choose my migration option. So I'm gonna skip Touch ID here. And this is just the initial setup process that you get when you're setting up an iPhone for the first time or when you've done a, a, a restore on your iPhone. So here's the screen that really is interesting to us. So you see the options there. We're gonna choose, yes, move data from Android. So just tap move data from Android, okay? And then you can just tap continue there. It's gonna give you a URL to go to on your Android device, which links you to the Google Play uh, Store and links you directly to the move to iOS or switch from Android to iOS app there. So we're gonna tap open, I already downloaded it. Tap continue where it says move to iOS, agree to the terms and conditions, and then it's gonna ask you to find your code. We already have the code there. So it's a 10 digit code. You'll get it on your on your iPhone and you just tap it in there just like this. So 10911 So this allows the devices to talk to each other and communicate. Uh, so just give it one second, connecting to iPhone. And in a second, you'll see the iPhone actually give a little notification there that it is preparing. So move from Android, move to iOS. And this portion can take a little while to get the handshaking down and everything. And then it's gonna ask you to select what data you wanna actually migrate over to iOS from Android. And you can check it or uncheck whatever you wanna uh, include there. So you can see the device name, you see Google account, bookmarks, and camera row here. So you can check or uncheck whatever you want to migrate over. I'm just gonna keep everything checked there even though I have a whole bunch of data in my camera roll. Over a gig of photos and videos. Most of those are videos though, as far as space is concerned. So now it's transferring. I'm gonna speed this portion up because this does take a while, especially if you chose to <laughs> migrate your entire camera roll over. It will take you a while, so just keep that in mind. So I have definitely sped this up as you can tell. Uh, it does take a while, so just be patient on this part of the migration because it's trying to get all your data over to your iOS device, and now it is complete. So you'll see a done button there, and on the iOS side of the fence, it's still trying to finish up some last minute things. Another funny thing though here, you see where it says recycle your Android phone, Apple actually allows you to take your Android phone into an Apple store and recycle that Android phone, another thinly veiled dig at Google. So uh, we are almost complete here. Actually, let me just go ahead and speed it on up. All right, so now it's gonna ask you to continue setting up your iPhone. Just tap that button there, and you can put in your Apple ID if you want to. I'm just gonna skip all that because there's no need for me to show you that. So we'll skip, and now agree to the terms and conditions, and we'll skip Siri, no and then get started. So now let me just check one thing. How about the camera roll? And you see all the photos from my Android device. These are Android screenshots right here. So they did migrate over successfully. Uh, even the normal photos migrated over successfully and even the videos migrated over. Now, if you're an Android user with one of the newer smartphones that shoot 4K video, 4K video won't play on older iOS devices. Uh, so keep that in mind, you'll get an error message. Also, other things are migrated over as well, like your bookmarks and your Google account, etc. So folks, let me know what you guys think about the Move to iOS app. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.